Your eyewitness weather forecast. Good morning. It is a soggy and a foggy start to the day today. As you're headed out the door this morning, you'll definitely need the umbrella, and it's a good idea to allow for a little bit of extra time because some of those areas of fog are reducing visibility quite a bit. From Tawanda, Wyalusing, Overton, near Laporte, Ricketts, Evans Falls, Tunkanic, up near Troy. There are some good heavier downpours, so not only is this rain coming down pretty steady at times, but also a little bit heavy in some areas. And we still have more rain to get through. So this first widespread batch of rainfall will make its way through this morning. Look at the heavier downpours back near State College, right along Interstate 80, further back into western Pennsylvania. So for the rest of the morning, this rain is going to be coming down. The good news is once this main batch of rain does end up tapering off late this morning and through the early afternoon, it's really just a few leftover showers and we'll talk about that in just a second here. But we do have a flash flood watch that is in effect for the Susquehanna Valley area south of Interstate 80, including the Poconos through 2 o'clock this afternoon. As this rain does come down a little bit heavy, we need to watch for areas of poor drainage, small creeks and streams maybe having a tough time keeping up with some of this. And south of Interstate 80, this is actually set to expire a little bit later on this evening and going into tonight. As far as visibility is concerned, it is dropping down to a couple of miles from the Poconos near Hazleton, Pottsville and Sealands Grove all the way up into the northern tier. So that in combination with the rain is certainly going to cause some slow going. Temperatures are in the 60s this morning. They're going to make it really back into the upper 70s today, and that's where the average is for this time of year. So we're right on par with average. Not only is it warm again, but it's also going to be pretty humid. Our comfort index keeping dew points in the lower and the mid 60s through the entire day today. Certainly very noticeable. It could be a lot worse, but still pretty sticky and steamy through the entire day today and really just for the rest of this week. There's that main batch of rain moving out of here. By the time we get to that lunch hour, a lot of this is pretty much gone at this point, but still a few leftover rain showers and even a thunderstorm that will try to pop up later on today and going into this evening. So still have that umbrella ready to go the next couple of days. It just stays unsettled. Tomorrow morning does start off dry, but then more showers and even a thunderstorm will pop up with our next storm system. And then this train just continues to come because we're going to have more rain coming our way Thursday with another storm system. This looks like it'll be a little bit more widespread and there will be some heavier downpours included in that. This does end up tapering off by Friday. While we can't rule out a shower for Friday, drier weather is going to start to take over for the weekend. 78 for the high today in the eyewitness weather forecast. We'll have showers and a thunderstorm. Remember, those get more isolated through the day. It's mostly cloudy and it's pretty muggy. Otherwise, our wind will be at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. 62 with a few showers tonight. 78 and muggy tomorrow. A shower, a thunderstorm. That's pretty isolated, though. Thursday looks pretty wet near 80. That rain tapers off through the day on Friday. Clouds and sunshine later in the day at 78. Saturday and Sunday are looking mainly dry. Our next round of rain won't really get here until very late Sunday and going into Monday. So the weekend right now, the first weekend of summer, looks mainly dry. Don't forget about the Eyewitness Weather app. You can always download that on your phones and tablets. The forecast is always available for you as well at pahomepage.com. So that rain, it's a nuisance the rest of the week. We have that flash flood watch just to be aware of. But then by the weekend, we get some sunshine back just mm. in time for summer. That'll be nice. Hopefully that trend continues. If we're starting out summer on a dry note, maybe that will, you know. Maybe. Because That's last wishful summer. Last summer, oh, shit, just, I mean. And remember, soaked. it rained more than half of the days last summer. So, mm. okay, we'll see if we can not do that this summer. Yes. Change that up. All right, nice. thanks, Stephanie. Well,